right, today we're going to take a look at how we can graph just a portion of an equation by using restrictions in Desmos. This comes in handy if you are given an activity where maybe you have to graph a picture or an image and you only want to see part of the, the graph instead of having the entire line that extends off the page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by typing our equation in. And I'm just going to type the equation of a line. And so with this equation, what you can see is it extends all the way off my page. Well, I only want to look at the part of the graph that goes from here, which is at negative 6, 0, up to 0, 3. And that's the only part of the line I want to see. In order to do that, what I do is up next to my equation, I am going to use what we call curly brackets or fancy brackets. And if you see next to the P on your keyboard, the square brackets are on the bottom and the fancy brackets are on top. So I just hit shift and then the bracket. When you're writing this, you're writing this as an inequality. So I know that my lowest value I want is negative six. So I'm going to start with that. So I type in negative six and I want my value to be less than or equal to. So when I do this, if I use the less than sign, then the equal sign, Desmos automatically combines that into one symbol for me. Now I know I'm looking at my X coordinates, so I know that that's the variable I want to use. So I type in X and you can see what that's done is it's cut off the left hand side of the line from everything where X is less than negative six. Well, now I know that my upper end, I want it to be at zero. So again, I'm going to do less than and equal. And you can see again, Desmos changes that to one symbol. And then I'm going to put the zero. And then I close out my brackets. And what that's done is it's given me, it's taken that entire line that was extending all the way across. And it's just giving me this portion of a line. Now, if I want to do something like a vertical line, I can do the same thing. So I'm going to type in a vertical line, as we know, is where x equals some value. So I'm going to say x equals 3. So here's my vertical line. Well, if I only want to use the part of the line, let's say, to go from here, let's go from that point to we're going to go down below my axis. We're going to go down a little bit further. So in this case, I am not restricting the x value because it's always there. What I am doing is I'm restricting the values for y. So I'm looking at the range. I use the same notation. So again, my curly bracket. What's the lowest value? Uh, let's go with negative 2. And that's going to be less than or equal. But in this case, again, I'm going to look at y. You can see it cut off the bottom of that line. And now I'm going to use my upper value as let's use positive three. So again, less than or equal to positive three. And then I close out my bracket. So what that's doing is it's telling my, it's telling Desmos that I only want to look at this portion of the line that goes from my Y at negative two to my Y at positive three. So all it is showing me is a portion of that line. You can do these restrictions with any type of graph. It doesn't have to be just a linear graph. You can do it with any of them and it will cut it off and only show you the values that are inside whatever the notation and whatever the restrictions that you've set are. 